6 a.m. on the way to Orlando to record my friend's game. Holy grail. Just received word the name of the league is the Central Florida Soccer League and they play under uh, a department of the fifth division here in the US soccer pyramid so it's one level below the level I play in um, we'll see the grass looks good there are two fields back to back two games going on at the same time so that's kind of that's kind of amateurish, but hopefully it's going to be a fun and entertaining day for me. I mean, I'm just recording this. I actually have a game later. Today I'm supposed to be playing in the US Open Cup, but instead I'm going to be playing for my university's club team. Um, I wasn't given international appearance by United States Soccer Federation, so it's tough. Um, for foreigners playing in a different country, you never get, you don't always get the same opportunities as local players. And this is just one of the examples, not playing in the US Open Cup. All from my vlog. <laughs> Alright guys, we're here with former pro and future pro played in El Salvador, played in the United States, played in where, where introduce yourself. Hi, uh, this is good team. Hernandez. Been playing El Salvador and the United States too. And uh, it's pretty good. Doing well. I'm twenty four years old. Five eleven if you guys want to know. <laughs> Position? Yeah. Play center back in DM. But most of the time center back. So left center back because I don't have right foot. <laughs> so you know. But I'm pretty good, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's the most modest, unmodest guy. But yeah, watch out for him. He'll be playing in Latvia next year. Latvia? Yeah, Latvia. You have any like notes on that? Any aspirations? Any words? Uh, I hope to move up. I want to use this league to move up and, um, you know, to improve in soccer. How do you meet me? Uh, tryouts. Orlando City tryouts. Went for Orlando City tryouts. You know, soccer being friends from different places in the world. He's <laughs> Philippine and I'm Salvadorian, so yeah. Yep. Alright guys, that's a perfect example of keeping connections. So I'm Filipino, born and raised. He's from El Salvador. He actually just got his green card. He married an American guy girl. So if you want to be American, marry an American girl. <laughs> but all I'm saying she's American too. All I'm saying is that you have to like make the most out of every opportunity. If you're not doing well in a tryout, if you're not getting picked, at least you have people around you. So surround yourself with a good environment. So talk to everyone, keep networking, and keep tight. So I met this guy three years ago, four years ago, something like this, in an Orlando City tryout um, for their... Is Charles first team or second team? First team was for the USL team. It's the second team, bro. No, it was the first one. By that time, they didn't, they didn't, oh. they didn't have a team in the MLS. Oh, that's right. So at the time when we were trying out for Orlando City, they weren't in the MLS yet. So we were in trial for the USL team. Um, and he was the same team with me during the scrimmage. And I just said, hey, I'll talk to this guy. He seems pretty cool. And we've been staying connected ever since. So next year, has, he has an opportunity to play in Latvia. And I have an opportunity to play in my home country, hopefully. And the thing is, if it doesn't work out for me, I'll go to where he is. If it doesn't work out for him in Latvia, he'll go to where I am. Hopefully, one of us will have a successful season next year, so we have an option. But if both of us have a horrible season and it doesn't work out, then we are fucked. Okay, guys, I just want to say to just don't give up. If you guys want to keep playing soccer, just keep fighting and the opportunity going to come, you know? Even if you think you're a bad player, don't think about that. Just think positive and believe in God and believe in yourself that you can do good things. And you will do it. You know? Just follow your heart, but play smart, and be positive all the time. And you will do it. Amen. Just kidding. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Just kidding. But, uh, I was about to pray, man. <laughs> so this guy 
he's 25 years old right now and at a young age he was playing pretty well in El Salvador he was part of the national team pool and he even made it up to the professional ranks so it's similar to a lot of people in Europe or a lot of people in like South America where at a young age you're already part of a club building your portfolio um, if you're good you're part of the national selection and all that stuff until you go pro um, in his situation I guess he tried to go for the better life better opportunity in the United States and tried to go pro here he played a season in the NPSL and it was pretty good for him he was getting his work visa everything and I guess what was it he tried to go back to El Salvador and played but he wasn't given the best financial situation and married, yeah, because he's married he's about to have a baby no, and all that no, stuff. No. what no baby right now <laughs> yeah about to have a baby yeah. about means that you are already expecting. in the in the future just say like five years or ten no no less <laughs> anyway <laughs> um so because of his family issues he couldn't accept a contract with uh, a low pay and that's another thing in football sacrifices over pay op over opportunity you have to see but he declined a professional contract to go back to the United States twice he's, twice. <laughs> twice twice and he's actually working in construction right now so imagine the sacrifice right now he's playing semi-pro in the fifth division yeah and working construction at the same time so he gave up a professional contract to do this why to put himself in a better atmosphere better situation to prepare for the future all this at 25 years old and uh, when, when when's your birthday August 19 August 19 so he gave up the pro contract at 24 right? 23 and 24 23 years. years old and 24 years old he had two opportunities back to back and he just kept working kept his head down staying humble and at 25 he's going to be playing professionally in Europe so that's like a huge testament for you guys never give up I'm lucky I'm just 22 years old right now and I've been taking opportunities as early as I can I mean honestly I made horrible decisions moving to Malaysia and moving to the United yeah, States and all of that stuff but there's always lessons and benefits learned from that and obviously I'll talk about that in another video but guys never give up never give up never give up just go to trials whatever place you go just go for trials no matter what they say to you just go fight for a position fight for that thing that you want if you want to be a circle player don't let people put you down just do it just do it like I'm honest with you you can be 30 right now you can watch this video and you say oh fuck you know I'm sorry if I'm cursing <laughs> I don't say that all the time but you know you don't think that I'm too old to do it not just do it because the opportunity is gonna come God knows when it's your time that's what that's what I said all the time and you'll be playing as soon as you think <laughs> you will play age is just a number guys trust in yourself trust in your God because no one else will